Generation 6 is my favorite Pokemon generation for a lot of reasons. It brought us 3D Pokemon, a bunch of new mechanics such as fish training that had hours of fun, and my favorite thing of all, Mega Pokemon. Mega Pokemon have almost become a staple to every competitive Pokemon team. And of course, some Mega Pokemon are better than the others. I mean, it's pretty clear that Mega Mewtwo takes a sh** on Mega Obama Snow any day. But some Megas sit in the shadows of others for no reason. So today, I'm gonna take you all through the top 5 most underrated Mega Pokemon. This list will include a variety of Megas, all that need a lot more love. Are they the best? No, maybe not. But they are sure as hell damn good, and deserve a ton more playing time. When Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were first announced, we were all pretty confident that the Hoenn starters that hadn't received a Mega, Sceptile and Swampert, would receive one. And apparently Game Freak had the same idea because Mega Sceptile and Mega Swampert were born. Swampert, as everyone knows, is a monster in the rain, but we aren't here to talk about him. I believe that Mega Sceptile deserves a lot more love than it gets. It is a fast, special, or physical sweeper, and you can even run it mixed to catch your opponent off guard. It has moves such as Leaf Blade, Giga Drain, Dragon Pulse, Leaf Storm, and you can even use Substitute so you can stack up Giga Drains and suck a ton of health from your enemy. Back in Generation 3, Absol was extremely underwhelming due to the fact that it had low special attack, and at the time, all dark type moves were special attacks. But Absol was always a fan favorite Pokemon due to its cool looks, and over time, with the attack mechanics changing, it became much more usable. However, Mega Absol does not see the usage that it deserves. Look at that attack! 150? And with a speed of 115, you're gonna be able to outspeed a lot of other Pokemon. Mega Absol also has a lot of great coverage with moves such as Sucker Punch, Mega Horn, and even Play Rough making it a force to be reckoned with. Mega Pinsir! <laughs> gotcha. But Mega Pinsir is very underrated. It is a very hard Pokemon to shut down if it gets set up enough. Yes, its typing may hinder it, but with such high attack, it can hit like a truck. And though it may not be the fastest Mega Evolution out there, it does have access to Quick Attack and the Aerial Aid ability, allowing Quick Attack to have the same type attack bonus. Pinsir also has access to set up moves such as Sword Dance, and bulk up. And trust me, you do not want to run into a Mega Pinsir that has set up already. Dear God, what the f is that noise? Someone get a Fly Swatter, oh my God! A Fly Swatter won't help get rid of Mega Beedrill, buddy. With a staggering amount of speed and attack, you're gonna have to find a much more strategical way to remove this insect from your path. Yes, it has terrible physical defense, and a tackle from a Pichu will probably one-hit KO it, but it needs to be outsped before it can be hit, and that is a hard task to accomplish, my friend. On top of Mega Beedrill's sky-high 150 base attack, it has the adaptability ability that boosts same type moves even more. If you survive an attack from this thing, you should be proud, because that won't happen every time. Before we get right into the number one spot, I want to give a few honorable mention shoutouts. I want to give a shout out to Mega Heracross. It isn't too amazing, so I didn't want to include it. And then also Mega Metacham, which is used a good amount and considered a threat, but I do believe that more people should use it, because that thing is uh, crazy. Anyways, at the number one spot, we have Wally's partner himself. Mega Gallade. Mega Gallade has a lot of tools to be a very useful Mega, however for some reason it just doesn't see much playtime at all. When Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire were first released, Mega Gallade shot up to overused real quick, but by now he has dropped into the borderline tier. I guess it's just the fact that Mega Gallade doesn't have the speed for OU, and it's illegal and underused where speed would be much more threatening. But Mega Gallade has a ton of useful moves and coverage, such as Drain Punch to regain health, Shadow Sneak for priority, and even Psycho Cut if you're trying to fish for crits. Overall, Mega Gallade deserves a ton more love than it gets, because in the right hands, this thing can take lives. That's all I got for you guys today, but before you go, let me ask you one question. What Megas do you guys think are underrated? Be sure to leave your answers in the comment section below. Remember to leave a like, as it helps out a ton, and subscribe if you want to see when I upload my next video. Have a great day, and as always, let the outro roll!